Welcome to Providence. Some call it the Renaissance City, others the creative capital. For visitors, it's a city that has a lot to offer. But if you arrive in Providence by Amtrak and you come out here on the city side of the station, it's not such a pretty sight. Rutted sidewalks and crumbling concrete, graffiti on the walls and sprinklers that haven't worked for years. It is a section of land directly across the street from the train station. It is owned, but not very well maintained by the city. Jim Hagen, the former head of the Providence Chamber of Commerce, lives in the apartment complex across the street and has had a front row seat for the deterioration. So when Providence Mayor David Cicilline was a guest on Rhode Island PBS's lively experiment show a few months back, Hagen let loose. Okay. When people come in, it's beautiful and nice snowy night. You look at the state house, the lights mm -hmm. in the state house. You come on the Providence side, and it looks like the aftermath of a bombing in Afghanistan. Everything is broken. The mayor politely listened, but didn't have much to say. Then there are the lights. These lights have been on for 15 years. They don't shut off. Tim Featherstone has worked at Hagen's apartment complex since the mid 90s. He says four lights remain on 24-7. The rest are burnt out, which at night leaves the plaza in front of the station, including the damaged sidewalks and chipped stairs, virtually impossible to see. So 13 years ago, Featherstone got on the phone to City Hall, figuring officials would jump right on the problem, since it was a gateway to the city for many train passengers. What was the answer at City Hall? Uh, they, well, they gave me another number to call, and you got a lot of voicemails, you know no return calls so yeah and I just really never even actually talked to anyone who was in charge of any of it fast forward to the beginning of the Cicilline administration it's been a concern of ours for a while and we've been aggressively seeking funding to address it Alix Ogden is the city's director of operations she estimates it would cost a million dollars to fix the problems in part because the plaza sits on top of a parking garage and engineers believe there may be underlying structural problems. Ogden said there may be some short-term fixes the city could do. She was unaware the lights are on 24-7. The ones that work, that is. At some point, would you have thought that somebody in city government would have said, <laughs> driven by there and said, wow, this really needs help. Has it been on the city's radar screen absolutely, for a long time? Absolutely, yes. I, I, just, I want to be really clear about that. We have been looking for resources to address the problems there from, for several years. Do you have any hope that it's ever going to get fixed? <laughs> well, maybe if the economy turns around, we'll start again, but we'll see. I don't see it happening now. And apparently, neither does City Hall. So welcome to Providence. Just watch your step. In Providence, Jim Hummel for the Hummel Report.